What's up guys, this is Tan Tan here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm extremely happy because as a League of Legends fan, now I got some really nice, I mean like official 4 inch scale figures to show you. So here we have the League of Legends Champion Collection from Spin Master. So this is the first wave and there are Darius and Yasuo and this set of 5 characters that appears in the Arcane, which is the League Animated Series. So first and foremost, let's take a look at Darius. And in my opinion, this is a really nicely done figure. Because here's the problem for characters that appears in video games, movies, manga, comics, etc. So the type of characters which has a really bulky armor usually get the best figure treatments. Because all you focus on is like making the armors look really nice and oh boy, does my Darius looks good. You got some really nice silver lining on his armor which catch the lights really good. And I must say that this is perfectly capture his proportion in the games. And I like it a lot. And now let's see. For every figure, we ha must have a look at the face sculpt. And I must say that this is not a really good face sculpt. I mean like comparing to the fact that this is a 4 inch scale figure. And the price are relatively cheap. Which is around $10. I think this is the best that we can get. So I have no complaints, I mean like, I'm, what I'm trying to say is that the face cop is not really good, but for the price point, this is okay for that. And I mean, when I we display the whole bunch of them together, no one who cares. So yeah, that is for the face cop, and the armors look really nice and detailed. You got some really nice spike going on the shoulder, and a lot of paint, in fact. Too many paint for a $10 figures. I really enjoy this, I absolutely enjoy this. And you can see that his cape are uh, made of rubbers. So it's actually really nice and if you turn him around and you, you see a lot of details onto the cap as well This is really nice. So if you flip the cap up, you see that even this section here they, they got they got painted which is really nice to me. This is a really nice features and of course a Darius comes with his axe I mean really nice uh, nicely done axe the blade are painted which is really nice could do some panel lining, I'm, I'm gonna get to that later, but eventually really nice. So for action and articulation, let's begin. So his head can spin 360, and unfortunately he cannot look up or down, so that is fixed. And you get a ro arm rotation. The shoulders doesn't really move up because of the armor piece. The elbow, I mean like barely 90 degrees bend and no wrist swivel or anything but you got a swivel here N no waist rotation this is a kick to the front and kick to the back it's like barely can move this is a split you got a thigh swivel of course and you got a knee band and i'm gonna try to put him into his axe holding his ultimate so raise it up and go up I mean like barely, barely do that, you can barely do that, but I mean like for this kind of figures, what we want to do is like put them in a uh, standing pose and have them sitting next to one another, and I think that is like the best way to do it. So you each of the figures got the same stand, this is a League of Legends, you see the logos, and this got a pack, so you're gonna plug it him in to, for him to stand up there, and that is how I'm gonna try to display him. So moving on to our next boy, the unforgiven Yasuo. I hate this guy. I mean like I hate Yasuo as a champion for g the general reason. But yeah, I mean like the face sculpt is like barely looks like Yasuo. I mean like this does not have anything that resem resemblance to Yasuo except for the outfit. I mean like this is like a cosplay went wrong. Like, you know, you, you, look at, you know what I mean? Like you got the perfect prop, the perfect wig and nearly perfect wig. And then you got Nigel Face. So this is like barely Yasuo. But anyway, this is Yasuo. So really nice figures. And you got that cape of him thing going on. And this is made from rubbers. So I guess that like by making the seemingly fabric parts of the figure by uh, rubbers. So you still got that texture and you still got some movement over it. And of course Yasuo, you got that really nice armor piece onto his arm. Really nice silver painting with some blue on it. And yeah, that's mostly it. 
and if you turn him around well you can see this is this Asian wine thingy and you see the rope around him which is kind of act like the belt and the abs section of him is really nice I mean I look at that body I, I enjoy that body a lot and also the hair is kind of nice and of course you can pull out his sword so, so he can do some hasagi and the sword is almostly like unpainted you got something painted at the handle section and I mean like this is an okay figure so, and I enjoy the sword can put into the scarab and the scarab is actually really nice you got some nice paint over here and now let's get to some action so his head rotate but kind of blocky because of the hair his shoulders can move out like that really nice and I enjoy the fact that they actually they split this in two so he can raise the arms like that without any hint or something so his arm can raise like that and you got a bend of the knee uh, you got a bend of the elbow that is like 90 degrees and, uh, you got no uh, you got this swivel at this point over here and there are no wrist swivel and unfortunately for the left arm it's kind of blocked because of this big piece of armor here so yeah this is like all you get for Yasuo you got a, a ball joint at the torso so that allows you to do some swivel and some bend which is okay uh, yeah I also forgot that Darius also got a torso joint my bad sorry I'm really sorry for that and you get this is a kick to the front and the kick to the back you got a split which is really nice you got a thigh swivel this is a bend of the knee which is really nice you see this armor piece here actually, actually looks really connected so you don't have any knees that's showing off at all and you got a swivel here basically it I mean like this Yasuo is okay but there are rumors for a um, premium 4 inch Yasuo figures from this line so definitely waiting for that guy to come along and until that time comes I will happily keep this Yasuo here and now let's get to the main event which is this big box over here so this is the set of Heimerdinger, Jinx, Vi, Caitlyn and Echo so this this is a five characters that appears in Arcane but unfortunately this is not their Arcane skin but this is rather their default skin in Leaks and to be honest this is my personal but I love Jinx and Vi at des original design but after seeing Arcane you know I see their default design is kind of lame but this is only for me I still enjoy the figures so if you see if you see the plastic piece over here this is like fragments of a uh, crystal and I think this resembles the arcane crystal and I'm gonna turn the box around you can see five figures Hamdinger, Jinx, Vibe, Caitlyn and Echo and and I think this is a really nice box now let's crack this guy open so first up we got Hamdinger and this is in my opinion kind of the best figures in this line because he doesn't have a human face sculpt so which is like really nice over here so you got his furry face and his glasses which is really nice and the colors is really good just look at the yellow fur the yellow hair or you just look at that that's like some beautiful paint painting over here the ears got some pink and if you turn around you can see some white it's like faded in there which is like really nice really done you got some gold details onto his shirt his coat and that's it it your glass of him is like painted in blue and you got his two gears this is like the tools of him that he throws that he throws in the game and the other accessories that comes with with him is his turret gosh I hate this thing this thing this, this, this thing is like painfully hurt me like how in the games whenever I go to whenever I met him in mid lanes and you got some orange and the orange are painted which is like really nice and some great details over here so basically this is like a really nice piece those nice cute and small piece to displays and for the articulation his head can do a 360 his arm is on a joint so there we go you got a torso swivel torso joint so it allows him to rotate like that and you even got some movement on the leg which is like surprisingly nice and you got some swivel on the thighs as well so there's Heimerdinger, a really nice piece. Next up, we got my favorite girl, Jinx, the loose cannon, and this is her. Of, this is her default skin, 
And for me, I never play Jinx in this form because I bought her back in 2013 and I used the Mafia skin and then I got the Firecracker and the Star Guardian. So yeah, this is still a nice uh, looks for her. I enjoy her this look because of the details and the kind of crazy vibe that she got. And for this figure, so this is a different version. So there's a version of Jinx that's so separately, but it is not as good as this one because in this one we got some cloud tattoos on her arms and her waist you got some really nice legging with, with some metallic pink and stripes on it and also the left arm is also got painted in a metallic pink colors and this section as well and you got a lot of bullets wrapping around her and each individual bullets got painted and I mean this is like really impressive this is really impressive you got a long hair a long ponytail hair and you got some pink rubber strap on there as well, which is like really nice. But then the weakness of this figure is the face scope. I mean like this is some kind of like overweight face scope. I don't think this face scope is really nice. But like I said, ten dollars four inches, cannot ask too much. And especially when she comes with her two weapons. So we got the fishbone, which is her main cannon her big rocket launcher. Really nice, got some painted over there. And the normal versions doesn't got this paint, but unfortunately, I would want to have a fishbone that can open the mouth. Otherwise, what is she shooting with the cannon close like that? Okay, so that's his fishbone. And next we have Pow Pow, her mini gun, and this is also really nice. You got some painted pink over there, and you can see the paint Pow Pow. And this car, this gun come with a. Uh, a string so a rubber string so you can actually place it onto her and she can hold both of her weapon like that so for the articulation first up I'm gonna take out the guns so first up her head can do a 360 and I'm glad to see that the ponytails doesn't get in the way I love her hair just that is just beautiful and her arms can rotate swing out really nice this is the bend of the elbow 90 degrees S swivel here and that's it you got a uh, torso joint so rotate and in and out a little bit her belt is really nice, they are not fixed, so this can help the leg to kick up and not really backwards. This is a split, the knee joint, you got a thigh swivel. This is the knee joint, over 90 degrees a little bit, and that should be it, except for a swivel here, and that's it. And yeah, I mean, like for Jinx. This is like a character that I would want to display with her accessories. Unfortunately, we are missing her pistol and some grenades, but I think that can easily be fixed by just handcrafting them. So, so yeah, that should be done in no time. And now for next characters, here we got Vi. And for Vi, the thing that we have to speak about is about her gauntlet. And oh my god, does that look really beautiful. You got that Hextech vibe. Also some steampunk, you'll see the clock over here. Which is really nice, her fingers and whole got like this painted in a silver with some bronze highlight and a uh, metallic blue over here. So turn her around and you got that gears on her back. This is like really accurate. The pink on her hair it looks really nice and you got that pink little cloth on over here as well. You know, give her a little girly stuff on her body mechanism in grey. Uh, and her face cop is like really bad. I'm not gonna fo too focus on that. Again, Price point and scale, and you got some. Uh, you got a Vi tattoo onto the face, which is really nice. And that's it. It you got some articulation over the, over the head. R rotate, no uh, up and down. You got a sp spin here. The arms move out, and this is the bend of the elbow. And you got some swivel, and that's it. it. You also got a torso joint over here. This is a kick to the up to the front, 
and not too much onto the back this is a split and you got the same size swivel the knee band and a swivel down here so basically this trigger has the same joint so like the only ways of like you know having limited the articulation is the accessories and etc so that is for Vi for Caitlyn this is her new default skin you still got that vibe so you got some uh, skirt armor you got this is her skirt and her outfit this is the same as the, as the game and of course her pants and her accessories which is her boots and her strapping bags pockets or something it's like the two different colors so yeah they highlight one another and you got some gold paint on here just like the details and that should be it and you got a gun uh, this is not her this is not the gun that came out of the box I actually I repaid this gun I think that it would look better with the white and the lens are blue like that so of course he she can she can hold her gun gotta try where you fit that in <laughs> like that and yeah now let's get to the articulation so the same head but then the hair it's like kind of blocky so yeah this is can move up and down rotation bend up the elbow swivel here torso kick kind of limited because of the skirt but yeah, the skirt is right rubber so it's like really nice split and Band here and also lastly swivel. So there's at this point with this figure the problem is that they, they never really can fully close up their leg. So like this some of the posts like the Caitlyn box art might not never be recreated. Like it's like really hard and it's like impossible. And lastly we have Echo. Oh god I hate this guy. I hate him from the games of course not the movies. But surprisingly I mean like the best human face sculpt we got on this wave I mean like just look at his face it's like full of characteristic and this is really like I mean like this is like 90% gamer like unlike the female characters and the other guys I mean like surprisingly okay this is like the best and you got that really nice white mohawk packets and yeah you got in the back you got his um, hex tech vault for Tam this you got paint in a uh, I mean like neon colors I mean like they've if they could have just done this in like clear green plastic that sh would be better but I can't guess we cannot ask for too much I mean like beautiful scope really gamer like and I enjoy his accessories and especially the face scope it's like just excellent I enjoy the face scope a lot uh, his right arm you see this watch over here that he uh, switched to turn back time and etc and that is him and also you got his blade also done in a, a, a neon green neon thing and he can hold it of course it's like that and yeah in my opinion this is like the best looking figures in this set and of course the articulation is always really the same rotation up around elbow band swivel here torso movement kick kick thigh swivel Then here and yeah it's like that and for echo here what I really like about the, the, the it's like for the figure size he it really can capture his image for the games especially the clothing I mean like for Vi doesn't really get that nice clothing I think the color would be better if they are like somewhat darker Kidlin just no because that is like a really I mean like the feels of her clothes must be like really soft not but not that hot and I mean like echo here captures the spirit really nice like zone you know dark steamy place and like yeah you go you get the point so yeah that is it for this set and next up i mean i'm, I'm really hopeful for the second wave because for this wave you got a picture and then you got another yasuo i think this is like a deluxe the premium versions and then you got a four inches ari ari is like my favorite champions i like i played her from leaks to white rift and i really looking forward for my ari and so that will be it for today guys so i will see you guys later Tonton out. <laughs>